All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle with Stock Lock Sunday, and this time around we're going to check out some trailer hitch locks. Now, uh, just by chance, I know recently, real recently, uh, Lock Picking Lawyer did uh, some trailer hitch locks. I believe it was from Pack Lock, and I believe Bosnia and Bill also did. Um, these were recommended to me um, by a uh, via email um, by someone local, actually. I was just telling someone recently about my YouTube channel, how I review locks, do some lock picking, yada, yada. And he simply sent me an email saying, have you checked out the, uh, I guess he recently picked up one of these from Harbor Freight and asked me if they were any good. I didn't have a clue. I said, I don't know, but I'll check them out. So I picked up these two. Now, they had both of these at Harbor Freight. Uh, now these are, yeah, they're Harbor Freight, so they're, they're on the low, low spectrum. Uh, so they had this side, this type here, which is a, looks like a dimple lock in this one. Uh, they had this one here in half inch and five eighths. And they had this one here, which is a regular keyed style lock in half inch and five eighths. So I decided to just shake it up a little, a little bit and got the, uh, this one in half and that one in five eighths. Just for the heck of it. It doesn't really matter for what we're going to do. Uh, it will matter to you if you're buying one for your trailer uh, to lock it up. So, um, first thing i got to recommend, though, um, if you've got a, around here, trailer, pretty much everybody has some kind of trailer, at least a utility trailer. They're very, very popular around here. If you've got a high-end trailer, uh, you may want to go with something better than this. Um, I'd suggest checking out, like, Packlock. The Pacific Lock Company, they've got much better things. Uh, check them out. But yeah, so we're going to check these out because that's what we have locally um, around here. So I figure we'll check this one out this week and uh, we'll pepper this one in uh, somewhere down the line. So I'm going to set this one aside for now and we'll just check this bad boy out. Um, so we got some zip ties on here. We're going to clip off. Let me get some nips and get these off of here real quick boom boom all right so we can get some of this out of the way but i did want to check something out well i was checking it out before the video technically but uh this right here rotating <clears throat> excuse me rotating locking hitch pin with two keys uh, 360 degree rotating head enables you to position the lock easily for access uh, down here, ergonomic nylon grip handle with key slot cover. Keeps dirt out. Fits class 1 and 2 receivers. And on the back, pretty much the same thing. Includes two keys. Uh, pin can be locked without the use of the key. And then the overall dimensions, uh, half by 5 and 5 ace, yada yada. But nowhere on here does this thing, this, this thing say uh, hardened steel. So, uh, do they need to be? I'm not really sure. I don't have a trailer. I don't use these things. But I, what I do know is once they're inserted, pretty much that whole pin is not accessible. What's accessible is this here and this end here. Uh, so, does it need to be hardened? I really don't know. But I think we'll check it anyways. Why not? Uh, so, here is the sliding cover that hides the keyhole. So, I guess it will keep some dirt out. Uh, it's not made the best. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's there. So, that is the lock right there. By the way, let me grab the key. Um, I must say, it's got pretty decent, uh, nasty little keyhole there. Pretty paracentric. We set that down. We can look at the key. Uh, fairly decent bidding. So, not bad. I'm going to, uh, let me see. Seems to be one, two, three... Are you kidding me? Four? Yeah. Looks like a four pinner. See the cuts on the key there. Alright, so how it works is you insert the key. You rotate the key. You pull it off. My goodness. Yeah. Again, it is from Harbor Freight, so it's, it's really just a big chunk of plastic with some really shoddy... I'm sure that's not steel in there. Yeah. I don't even know if we'll be able to see that locking pole down in there. You see it rotate out of the way. Let me see if I can get a shot of that in there. You can see it rotate out of the way. That's what locks the thing on there. Uh, but yeah, that's a whole lot of plastic right here. Good grief. 
So you don't need the key to lock it, I guess. It's just spring loaded, so you just put it on, put it through your uh, the uh, receiver, snap it back on, you're done. So what they mean by easy access is this thing spins around, so if it's in an awkward spot, you can just spin it around to get your key in it. So I guess that's cool. So uh, I guess first thing we'll do is see if it is hardened. Again, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you use these things, uh, does it really matter? Uh, let's just take it right here. See if we can get it to bite in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's biting right in there. I wanted to get a good scratch in there so you can see it real good. Let's see if we can get it on the camera. You see it? So definitely not hardened, but again, with it being buried inside the uh, steel tube, not sure if that really matters. So now we'll check out the lock and see what kind of, uh, uh, see if it's any kind of pick proof whatsoever. Uh, let me just grab some kind of tension tool. Uh, we can probably go right at the bottom because uh, looks like I can pick it off the ledge of that warding right there. So first we're going to just try something really silly. We're just going to try the city rake, uh, which is probably going to be the quickest way and just see if it'll pop open. Well, it's not real awful. Oh, that was a tension wrench slipping. Let's try that again. Keep my tension tool out of the way. Just give it a jiggle in there. And there it goes. So yeah, not that tough. <laughs> so let's say that didn't work. And uh, we'll just try picking it. Single pin picking it. Get that tension wrench in there again. And I'm just going to grab right here. I got the Sparrow sliver pick. I think that's the offset hybrid if it'll focus. There we go. And we'll just see if we can pop it this way. Right off that ledge. I think they're all standard pins. Shouldn't be that tough. And there it goes. Oh, tension wrench slipped, but yeah, it popped right open again. See if I can do it again with the tension wrench in the awkward position. I think you get the idea though. Really no pick resistance whatsoever. Yeah, my tension wrench is in the way, but yeah, very, very, very straightforward. Get that out of the way. Now I just want to do it. There it goes. So open again, single pin picking. So yeah, not a lot of pick resistance, but let's face it. Uh, hopefully there's no one running around uh, picking these locks, but yeah, so not hardened. Uh, let me know in the comments, does it really matter when that thing's going to be all covered up? Um, it is a lot of plastic. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you've got more of a high-end trailer, I suggest you check out something like Packlock, uh, the Pacific Lock Company, for something uh, something better than this. But there you go. I hope that helps out. Um, answer some questions for you. That is the rotating locking hitch pin from Harbor Freight. Thank you very much. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And if you like this video, hit that like button for me. Thank you very much.